a Bosnian bill. Subscribe to Bosnian Bill. Subscribe to Bosnian Bill. Subscribe to Bosnian Bill. Well, guys, after that last video where uh, Jacob from uh, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, sent me a bunch of locks, a lot of you sent and said, do the evil one, do the evil one. <laughs> so I guess I have no choice. This is the challenge lock from Jacob. It is a, uh, as you can see, it's a Schlage lock by the shape of the key. And, of course, by the shape of the keyway and the unique color of that core kind of gives it away. Uh, I'm not even going to take the key off of there. It's got this high security tape, <laughs> so it must be extra hard. So let's see if we can get this thing clamped up without moving the key. I can just slide it around the top there, I think. And I'm just going to clamp the face of it really tight. And that way we don't smash the key. Oops. A little bit more in there. That way we don't mash the key and uh, it kind of hold it firm in there. Hopefully that'll work. Get that out of the way. And let's try top of the keyway. It is a Schlage, so the thick Peterson pry bar will work. And you guys also had a comment about I'm, I'm always seem to be using the same pick. Maybe I'm getting in a rut. So I'm going to try this Goso. It's the medium hook. It'll fit in here nice and wide. It's 30,000, so it'll fit in this keyway no problem. And I'm counting five pins. All right. Let's see if we can get into this. Turn just a bit, and I'll zoom. Maybe you guys can see if there's any feedback or anything. It'd be easier to see if we zoom. All right, now if it'll stay focused, we're good. All right, all the way to the rear. Light tension, and let's see what secrets come out of Oak Ridge, Tennessee. All right, I'm already on the binder. It's pin five. Let's see if we can give them a click. I'm thinking this, before we get too wound up here, maybe that wasn't the best way to clamp it. So, rather than wait until we picked it all but one pin, that ought to be better. All right, still flopping around. All right, let's try it again. Let's see if that is, let me see if that is a first binder. Yep. Okay, pin five. One click, so I'm thinking serrated. Pin four is on the bottom. Okay, back to five because nobody else is binding. See if we can get another click out of him. Got one more click. And nobody's binding yet. All right, let's try five one more time. Okay, that was another click, but still nothing on the core. Okay, that was pin four. I got a click. Four set. He's low cut one. Okay, I don't know if you saw the turn of the core. I got a. I touched pin two, and I mean just barely touched him, and we got a false set going. Find the next binder. Five and four, I believe, are set. Or at least we're standing on the edge of a security pin. I'm not sure which. I'm going to pin two, get a little counter rotation there. Okay, got to click on him. A very loud click. Okay, got my fault set. Deeper. Come on, pin five is now falling down again. Getting counter rotation there. Okay, we got a good false set going now. Okay, it's really it's so deep. I almost I'm not getting any counter rotation. So I, oh, there we go. I was going to say I thought it was a spool, but instead I think 
probably pin two, maybe pin three is a T pin. That, and you notice just when I gave it a little bit of upward tension, uh, it broke this, the, uh, the shear line. So let's zoom out. And let's see what Jacob put in here. All right. Oops. Let's see what we got here. Let's take a look at the key first. Got to be an easier way. And it's called violence. That thing is really wrapped up in there. Cardboard, brown paper, and black tape. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. Wow. A lot of high low, high low action there. Okay, I needed that just in case we turn this the wrong way. And we're going to need a follower. Sorry, just back from vacation and everything's not organized quite the way we like. All right, medium. That ought to work. Maybe. Okay, we're caught on something. I bet we're caught on one of those ball bearing holes. All right. Yeah, for sure. All right, we got another option here. Again, with the destruction, I'm just going to pop the lid here. Not the best way, but right now we're caught in the ball bearing hole in the core. And this is the only way. Okay, all standard springs. Nah, don't worry about the spring, Bill. All right, pin one. Only the top pin will come out. It is a homemade looking spoolie thing. Awesome. Awesome work. That's a standard. Wow. Okay, pin three was a kind of T-pin. And four is definitely a multi-spool. <laughs> and the last one, kind of a spool too. Okay, we the first one fell out. Because I turned him upside down. Yeah, all these little grooves in the side. Apparently one of the upper pins, probably that T-pin, this little one here probably got caught in one of these grooves when I turned the core and it wouldn't let me pull the core out. So that's what's going on. When you start messing with challenge locks, all kinds of stuff can happen. Okay, these are probably all standards because that was three, oh, that was four. There he is. All right, the real work of art. Let me see if this is threaded. No threaded. I'm very surprised by that. The work of art is all on the top, guys. Take a look at this. I hope this focuses. Look at the work that went into that pin, that first one. It's a T-pin and also a spool, kind of a combination. I got you. And then a standard. I don't know why that thing was rotating quite the way it was, but the standard should have prevented that. And then another one of these spool slash serrated slash T-pin all in one. Awesome, awesome. And then multi-spool. We got three different spools there, three different ways to get caught. And then it looks like a little kind of a spool on the bottom with the serration on the top. So it's a little bit of everything in this thing. All right, Jacob, awesome job on these pins. Thank you, sir. Everybody else, stay safe, stay legal, and don't ask Jacob for any locks.